Hello everybody and welcome to Rookie's Solo Cash Cup number two. We got a lot of action to go through today. Very excited to be able to host the English stream of this tournament. We are going to be having eight games today with some minutes of pause time in between. But as you guys can see from the lobby right now, it is full of gamers ready to battle it out for a cash Prize. 47 players currently currently in the lobby. It was said that the signups were completely full by over 20 people. So we're excited. We're going to get ready to go. Before we head into game number one, let's look at some of our graphics for this event. First things first, as you can see from all the default boxes, there's going to be no clothes, no accessories. Your umbrella and your melee are the only things that you're going to be able to customize yourself wait i lied emus and handballs will be disabled for this competitive event and there's a big no-no to sharing the code and to teaming and there are moderators ghosted who will be watching out for some of those things as well very excited for what's about to come eight games of excitement we will see who comes out on top for now though if you look at some of the names that you can see in the lobby we can see a lot of very high level players I see Lord Kanzi making a return to a competitive function. Obviously, Rookie, the godfather of this event, is here. Default Otter has been known to play in some competitive events. I see Meiru. I see Suhei. Who else? Extensive Axolotl, Mkel, Balan, and many, many others. Encrypt over there as well. Eevee, Matic. It is going to be exciting. Lots of the highest level of gameplay uh, will be found here. Real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at our point system format for this event for a top 25 to 16 placement you will receive two points for top eight through or 15 through eight you will get four points top seven you will get six top three eight points and if you win the game you will get 10 points we're gonna have one po uh, kill point uh, per kill and, sorry, they're teleporting people in the background and there's gonna be a max of 10 kill points awarded per game so as you saw from this little screenshot right here of everyone playing, there are a ton of players that love to hunt for kills. So being able to hunt 10 kills, get 10 points, that's gonna be a huge factor in this tournament. Kills, super valuable, but also you can't just run at people the entire time because we're gonna have to be paying attention to your placement as well. 10 points for a W, that is a lot of points to be able to get. So I think we will be hopping into game number one very shortly. Guys, thank you for joining me for this tournament. And of course, shout out to Rookie for giving me permission to, um, to host this event in English on my channel. I think we're gonna start by going ahead and spectating Rookie right off the bat. We need to know what the owner of this event is gonna be doing, where they're gonna be choosing to go, what sort of tactics they're going to be playing, and we will see. Rookie types in chat, jump equals Sigma, but I can't help but notice that Rookie did not jump. Oh, there we go. Rookie out of the plane, heading northeast. One of the most interesting parts about this event is the default foxes, because you will never know exactly what player you're running into. You could be running into McDonald's Burger 30, who is his first competitive event, or you could be running straight down M. Kellen Rookie's throat, which will spell an early grave for you for sure. Rookie ending up in this little weird square that not a lot of people choose to play. Encrypted Rookie taking an early battle. Rookie somehow missing those point blank shots. Definitely needs to get warm if he's gonna want any chance of winning his own event here. Otherwise, on the map, we see Mkel already picking up his first kill of the event. Mkel, another very high-level player. We're going to have to check in with him after game one. Look at his placement. Look how many kills he has because he is another big hopeful to win the entire event. Default Otter landed Pyramid already taking their first kill. Looks like they're going to have Secret Room all to themselves. They're going to be able to have that high-level lootation. Let's go ahead and wait for one moment and just see what pops out of this room. Loot is not going to be the greatest, but we'll have to check in back in a second. Suhei already has a bow, and you know what Suhei with a bow means. That means it's about to be a crazy game, but no! Suhei running melee range into Rookie, who had that shotgun pointed and ready to go. 
And Suhei, even though they picked up two kill points, they're going to be taken out kind of early. There's going to get there's going to be zero placement points. Let's go ahead and look at Radostin here for a moment. Orange name creeping around here at the farm. Many players surrounding him right now trying to decide if he wants to take a fight or if he wants to relax. Lily, another hopeful for the event, a frequent top five finisher in all competitive events. We're going to have to see what Lily chooses to do as Radostin does take a ping off the one armor, but they are going to take that two armor and step away. Default Otter seems to be chasing down Gunner's Kale, and they will take them out as well. Rookie and Default Otter now holding the highest kill placement while still being alive. We're going to have to see what Rookie does here in this 1v1 in... Oh, Sniper Shot lands, trying to go shotgun and does get the kill. Rookie already doing a great job. Three kills on the board, heading towards that top 25 placement. And we're going to have to see what happens next. Meru. Meru has also been participating in a lot of scrims, a lot of events, preparing themselves for this event. And we're going to have to see what they can make do with it. Meru playing their time. They do have the three armor, do have the magnum, a competitive player's dream right there. And let's take a look on the very edge of the zone. Some of these players are trying to make it in. Matic does have an M16, taking big shots, needs one hit. But no, Matic not only gets the kill, but Balan steals his kill. So no points over to, over to Matic, and they die right outside of a top 25 placement. Let's look at the south of the zone here. Extensive Axolotl, Radostin, and several other players trying to make their way in as the zone comes in. Encrypt taking some shots as well with Maxio and Trihux in this corner. Cat with the gun, thank you for that follow, but Trihux is taking shots. Maxio trying to get close range with the shotgun. Is it going to be able to take them out? Nades come out, not going to matter. Trihux takes them down. 64 is going to be up here with Balan. Balan does get hit twice with that sparrow before going down. Smile trying to pick up a kill here. Balan throws the banana into the zone, which will not let them heal. And that may have just cost Balan his life, and it does. Eevee, totally fine, relaxing at the southmost point of the map currently with this Golden Deagle. Going to be totally fine with hanging out. Canty playing smart, already ready inside of the next zone. M. Kellen. Lord Canty might be walking up on each other. Canty surely hears Mkill on the other side of the word. Mkill might think he's safe coming in this building. We ought to see what he decides not to do. All right, Mkill is going to choose to completely back off. Maybe look for some more players on the outside, then come back on the outside. Smile, currently healing, one HP. Going to have a bit of a run here. They need to head in as soon as possible. Rookie, currently sitting at five... Kills, sitting center zone, trying to decide what he wants to do next. He definitely needs to find a little bit of shelter, a place to hang out. As there's like eight players on the board. Default Otter melee kills Eevee. Something I never thought I would be saying out loud. Eevee, we're going to have to figure out more what happened with that. Meru taking some shots on the top right. Melee coming face to face with Kilometer. What is the Kilometer? Good name. As there is an absolute battle for the southmost point of the Bamboo Forest building right now. Trihawks, who we did see pick up a few kills earlier, is trying to figure out the best way to survive. 82, looks like they're gonna go down. One HP, who's gonna pick up the kill? Runs into the gas so that no one gets kill credit. Honestly, might be a good play. He did get the top 13 placement, and we're about to be down to our top 10 of our first game. Lord Canty does take Alora down. And Mkill does take Radostin down, so it looks like the battle is going to be for center control. As Please Kill Me and Trihawks continue to trade shots in the northmost point. Mkill picks up a free kill, had no idea what was coming. Rookie currently sneaking under Mkill. Rolled away right when he needed to take the shot. We're going to see what happens. Canty playing very intelligently, hiding in the building for now. Rookie trying to take shots off screen. Rookie fighting three. I don't know if that's what he wants to do. Encrypt looking low right now. Does not go down. Lord Canty hiding in the shed. A lot of competitive players are left. Encrypt. Rookie. No, Mkill takes down Encrypt. Lord Canty. Rookie. Mkill, please kill me. Let's see what happens. Rookie, please kill me. Come face to face. <clears throat> Rookie takes the kill. Skunk gasses themselves, but they're in a perfect position to be able to heal. Canty and Mkill currently chasing each other down. Let's see if he finds him. He does find him, and Lord Canty takes the kill on Mkill. It is a 1v1 scenario. Lord Canty versus Mkill. One shotgun shot, two shotgun shots. And Lord Canty, the North American player, finishes with four kills and the first place. Rookie, 
Eight kills coming into his own tournament is going to be glad to have eight kill points as well as a second place finish. But Mkel is also going to be very happy with a six kill third place finish. And let's look at some of these other stats. Please kill me with two kills. Smile with three. Trihawks with three. Radostin with three. Black Cat with one. Default Otter with three. Cuddly with one. Balan with two. Dino with one. Kizo with one. Leon with one. And Suhei with two all the way down. Great work. First game, high entertainment, very crazy. And we're going to have to see if the North American player, Lord Canty, can continue this hot streak. All right, we're going to be following the winner of game number one, Lord Canty. Watch his descent from the plane and see where he decides to go. So far, wanting to kind of hang out in this bird, take a look at the bird path as... Lots of players are already deciding to stop at the Super Penguin Palace as well as the Research Labs. Things might be getting a little busy there in a second. Lord Canty, honestly, for going for what is a hot drop, I would call, in the pyramid. Whoa. Wait, Canty playing ultra safe and actually deciding to fly past the pyramid and head into the slums to the left side. Let's take a look at some of these other players that we can see very close to each other, fighting it out. Tier 3 armor versus no armor, and Captain Plug will be the first player to go down. I lied. There's already been four kills. Liberty, Black Cat, Coyote. Coyote, one of the newer competitive players, has been speaking about their nervousness for this event, but it looks like for now, Coyote is as cool as a cucumber, and we will have to see if that <clears throat> continues to be the case. Balan, going to be opening up the pyramid secret room. Let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and take a look at the secret room. Magnum will be found, blue Magnum, but other than that, not too much lootations. Canty gonna be finishing up looting the slums top left and saw security. There are a few players looting the different corners so far, but I don't think they're gonna be running into each other just yet. Siligams came to the ultra outside of the map, trying to get all the loot they can before they're having to rotate inside, and we're gonna see where they decide to go now. A uh, very interesting circle as we see a big part of the map that you normally never see play in, the Super Sea Land is in. So we're gonna have to see how these players decide to use this area. Lots of players need to start getting their rotations in. That storm is coming in, it is very far away away. Banana, Pixie Sticks, Liberty, Black Cat, Angel Fox, all hanging on the ultra outside of zone here. They need to be heading in as soon as possible. Uh, Fenjajo? Then Jojo just decided to hang out with the crabs and hit a little dance with the crabs. Very interesting tactic. Definitely good for the soul. Don't know if it's best for the gameplay. King, welcome in. Welcome to the solo cup, cash cup number two, hosted by Rookie. And we are going to see as plenty of grenades being thrown up top so far. A close fighting speed take it pulls out a jag, which means that's an instant no-no. You take the far distance away. Suhei throwing some bananas down, trying to hit a quick heal before the zone comes in. As there's about five or six players here on the left side, all trying to make it in zone. Suhei does not know that a player is lurking around the corner, but they're paying attention real well. So they do take one shotgun shot to the face and they slowly creep away. Rados and Matic, two players fighting! Huge grenade damage on the Matic. We'll have to see if Radosin decides to come back in and fight three players, low HP, all hanging out right on the outside of zone. Silence Pistol as we see Smile on the outside take down Angel Fox. This player is one HP, deciding to run around in between three players. Says Pixie, take them out. Gurney, how is this player? Oh my gosh, I was about to say, how is this player alive? But Smile taking another bow kill. Someone is rivaling Suhei in the bow kills right now. Matic taking big shots, nothing lands. But Smile does get Matic pretty low. They will take off a piece of tape as there are several players trying to continue to rotate in from this top left side of zone. Balan still fighting for his life, still fighting against Radostin. These guys have been at each other's necks for like the last three minutes of in-game time now. Still taking shots. 
And it seems like they might finally be walking away from each other. Let's go ahead and look at the kill lead, and it is Pixie Sticks. And we're going to go ahead and watch Pixie, as they do have a M16 and a Jag. A great combination to pick up some quick kills. Pixie currently looking for a player. Solmatic for just one second, potentially trying to hunt them. Nothing is found yet. D3S takes down Jazvik. And let's go ahead and look at our game one winner, Lord Cantu, who just took down Matic, who was on the run for pretty much the entire match. Lord Cantu sneaking up to the bottom of Mini Ranch. We're going to have to see what they decide to do. Player under them finds the M16, just just trying to play it slow. They have the sneaky boots. Listening for sound cues, sees the player directly under them. That is a Thomas gun versus an M16. Let's see what kind of... Battle happens between these three players as Trihawks actually does take down D3S before anything can happen between Canty and him. On the right side, the zone keeps getting weirder and weirder as it is now half inside of the Saw Security HQ bottom right room and half outside. We're going to have to see if someone decides to press the money, press the button and gain access to the little room or if they're going to keep it closed for a little bit of extra safety. We just see Eevee taking down Muin in the kill feed. Canty taking down Pixie Sticks, who was our kill leader. Rookie picking up a double kill, taking down Balan and Black Cat. Rookie currently sitting in the lead. Five kills. Eevee under them with three. Canty under them with three. And let's see what happens now. Eevee taking some shots at Rookie. Eevee confidently taking on Rookie right now as Eevee is stuck between two players but does not care because Eevee takes the sniper shot from around the wall and does take them down. Canty has probably the best position right now but we do see the next zone are going to be going further and further north. Canty opening the door trying to take out Eevee will not work for now. Lots of players in all of directions. Mkel, Prok, Mkel coming in so sneakily to get a third party on last game's winner, Lord Canty. What is a kilometer? Hiding center zone right now. Mkel trying to make it back that direction, but can't right now. Rookie, Eevee, Mkel. Eevee gets double teamed. Rookie goes down. 1v1, kilometer versus Eevee. Eevee does have one armor. Snipe goes through and cuddly Eevee, one of the best dual pistol players in the game with the trigger finger of a rap god Eminem takes down the final player and Eevee will come out with a first place 10 point finish as well as five kills gaining them 15 points in one game you once again have to look at Rookie though because of that top three finish that is going to be eight points as well as six kill points and I think that is going to firmly put Rookie into first place going into game number three. GG's in the chat, GG's in the chat. Cannot believe Eevee was able to hit that snipe around that wall and dual pistol that player down. Great plays there by Eevee. And we're gonna be taking a little break coming into game number three. All right, we're gonna be following Eevee coming into game number three. <clears throat> After a stellar final circle performance, got them the last kills as well as the points. All right, Eevee going to be dropping somewhere just outside of this bamboo forest, and we're going to have to see what sort of loot they want to grab and if they want to take any fights. All right, Eevee, Magnum and AK relaxing right now. No one really contesting them as well. Let's see if there's any other super busy areas of the map. I mean, over here at the northwest side of the bamboo forest, it seems like a few players were fighting it out. Coyote, early dark gun, trying to fight. Nothing just yet. Kubi, try on the chase for this player down here, decides to back off as there's also a few players in the saw security. Default Otter hits the armor, armor swap times two and is able to live that 2v1 scenario. Jasvik goes down to D3S and Maxio is currently hiding in this corner. Let's see if D3S decides to push any further. Ooh, D3S getting an absolutely fantastic pickup in the... But the silence pistol. Anyways, three people on the road here. Radostin taking good shots at the default otter. Default otter gonna be one HP and Radostin does take them down. Kezio, Radostin fighting it out. Nade, not gonna do any damage, just slightly out of the zone there. 
Let's go and hop in with Pixie because Cuddly Eevee is running up on them and I don't think they have a single clue. Eevee does not have a shotgun, needs to play from a little bit of range, big shots, and Cuddly Eevee one goat will take out Pixie Sticks. Thomas gun for Eevee there. Eevee keeping an eye on the tier three armor swap as well. Wants to make sure no one else gets that tier three for free. North side of the zone here, as the mole crate begins to come down, it looks like some players did grab a few things out of the box, but other than that, a golden BCG on the floor. If Harna would hear, the lobby would be trembling right now. Luckily, Harna is not here, but we're gonna have to see what this Russian guy is able to do with that golden BCG. For now, playing slow, just throwing a few eggs out there for zoning reasons. Balan and Smile coming across each other, Smile. Silence pistol from very close range, and I don't know who this smile underscore s is, but we've seen them pick up the bow, and they've been very effective with it all three games. If we look at the sideboard, we do see D3s who has been performing well, going down. Lily kills Julia, and Radosin takes down Suhei. Another early death for Suhei means not, or there'll be no placements points this game. But we will have to see if they can bounce back in a later game. Smile, Balan. Smile does take down Angel Fox. Smile, Balan, taking themselves out with the grenade. You, I don't know if that was on purpose or not. You would probably hope that that is on purpose to not give Smile any extra kill credit. Uh-oh, an edge of the Super Sea Land is in, which means we are up for some Super Sea shenanigans coming up very soon. Canty deciding, heck no, no one goes here and leaves that bottom right quadrant and starts heading northwest. Extensive Axolotl going to be taking a peek at the Super Sea Land as well, but just like everyone else that plays this game, they're going to be leaving shortly after saying, wow, this drop location is hot garbage. Um, going into the Northwest Quadrant, once again, we see Eevee and Kubi coming face-to-face. -face. No shots taken out so far, though. Black Cat taking... Oh, Black Cat, Purple BCG, Silence Pistol as well. Four players on the screen at the same time. Eevee trying to take them out. Kubi could not land a snipe while sitting still, hiding in a tree. Kubi does take down BZH there later. Cuddly Eevee taking out Black Cat from around the tree with the Magnum. Kubi hiding in the tree. Misses one, misses two snipes. Kubi... Oh, two players low. The Russian player does take down Kubi and steals kill credit from Eevee, but Eevee does take down the Russian player and gets their kill credit back. We have Silly down here coming face to face with Eevee. Eevee holding mouse one with a Thomas gun. Nothing happening so far. Silly trying to say, hey, look, I have a Jag. Please do not come near me. Meanwhile, please kill me saying, please don't. As they start to uh, use the campfire to heal up, but they're going to need to continue backing up. 64 does take down extensive Axolot. Radostin is going to take down Maxio right outside of our screen right here. Lord Canty still alive. Bottom white quadrant. We do see that Rookie is dead as well as Mkel. So this could be huge for some other participants in the event here. Canty taking a kill, did not see 64 hiding in the corner. 64, Lord Canty both hiding. Lily getting caught out by Lord Canty. Nate goes out. Oh no, but Lily did not know that 64 was hiding in the bottom right. This is a Thomas gun versus Thomas gun battle. Nades come out, he is one HP. Lord Canty doesn't know. Canty does take them down. We did see Radostin taking down Eevee as well. This is Radostin's game to win. Radostin sitting at five kills, their highest play placement this event so far. Let's see what they can do. Please kill me, taking down Canty. Smile, taking down, please kill me. We're in a 1v1 situation. Both of these players need this win big time. Smile holding two kills, Radostin holding one, and Radostin expert use of the tree. And Radostin. Radostin, thank you for the 100 bits, Blue Eye Bear. Blue Bear, I appreciate you. And put a GG in the chat, Radostin. Fantastic job. Six kills for Radosin. Smile, close behind, two kills. Please kill me. Finishing in that top three placement with three, with three kills. Canty still performing, getting those high placements. And Eevee. Eevee went down in sixth place, but with seven kills. We're going to have to see what that does for their overall points. But if you think about it right now, a top seven placement is those six points plus the seven points for kills. That's a 13 point game for Eevee. And you have to think that after uh, Rookie's slower performance this game, that Eevee might have just taken the first place slot from 
rookie. We're gonna have to see though, as we head into another game break. Thank you guys for stopping by and being a part, watching, hanging out for rookies cash cup number two. And as we get into game number four, the halfway point, we will see what happens. Meru is heading into this Northeast quadrant, but so are a lot of players as well. Look at all of the players. Lily, Extensive X, Little, Trihawks, Pixie Sticks already on the floor. And let's see what they decide to do. Lily and Extensive Axolotl may be coming face-to-face -face here. Extensive Axolotl just heard that shock and is probably going to decide to back up now. Um, Lily taking the Magnum. Lily taking the SMG. Trying to figure out what sort of thing that they would like to use. Um, Captain is going to have the entire Super Animal stage to themselves. Health Juice Factory. One of my favorite drops as people begin to land here and look for the lootations. Only one player down and it is the Rookie Tournament host. And we're going to see if Rookie... Rookie did make a big circle. Rookie going to be able to find a tier 3 armor as well as some weapons for themselves. Uh-oh, Gray Cat with a gun. Gary? Is that Gary or Gray? Sorry, I have, I have dyslexia. Gray Cat with a gun, 1 HP. Are they going to be able to si survive Rookie's onslaught? No, nah, the trigger finger isn't going to be fast enough to survive Rookie. And as you saw, Rookie picking up an early jag is going to be absolutely massive for him. There's a few players currently hiding out over here in the Pixel port. Gunner's Kill coming face to face with what a what, what is a kilometer? I don't know. What is a kilometer? Gunner's Kill face to face. One shot landing so far. One armor. Gunner's Kill. Oh no, this is hard to watch. Wait, does hit the armor swap? Maybe they can do something. Hits the barrel back, but no. It in fact, will not be enough. Gunner's Kill. We'll see you next game. And Narum. Getting the entire Super Sea Land to themselves because no one plays in this location ever, even in normal games. So that actually might be intelligent for him to run all the way down bottom right. Pretty much infinite loot for them to get there by themselves. Encrypt D3S coming face to face. I have never heard of D3S before this event, but we have been seeing them perform very well the last three games. Encrypt, one of those guys where you expect him to be top of the leaderboard at least half the games, but he has certainly been quiet this event so far. Uh, Rookie doing a good job being top kills this game so far, but it looks like they're just kind of relaxing on the outskirts, looking for some of those players as Rookie may come face to face. Oh, he definitely heard that sound cue. He definitely heard Moot and Roland. Trying to look for the player. Runs by him! Mooten did get the element of surprise on Rookie, but they both have a one armor. So I think Rookie, Rookie knows how good of a player they are. He might try to take them on. No, it looks like Rookie is just going to apply a tape and potentially run away. Wait, never mind. He just heard that, that cat mine pop, but he's just going to heal his armor and continue to run south. I don't know if we're going to see much else happen. Trulia trying to hide behind these thicker trees and get the jump on someone. Encrypt is actually able to take out Mooten as they were running away from Rookie. Alara, hi, si Alara sitting in the bush. Oh, okay, there you go. Alara sit Angel hiding in the corner. Is this Call of Duty? Kubi hide. What? Wait, every person I click on is hiding in a corner. Hold on. Wait a second. Am I watching Call of Duty right now? Get out of those corners. That zone is coming in. Time to move, gamers. Get some better placement into that next zone. Five players sitting top right. Encrypt actually hiding in the bush. Might be intelligent play because it looks like they are going to take that 64. But Encrypt missing 10 shots in a row. Okay, they are able to take them out. If Encrypt would have went down there, that would have been a monumental L. Smile running out of the zone to take out Encrypt, uh, to take out Meru rather, and it will work. Smile deciding to fully heal tape outside of zone. Good play. Cuddly e Eevee is able to use their silence pistol to instantly take down a player that came face to face with them. Bottom left, Balan, Pixie Sticks, Captain Pug, and more. All taking shots at each other. Balan has a Magnum. Thomas Gun as well doesn't really want to alert them that they have a close range weapon. But in a second, Balan might come across Captain Plug, and they do. Captain Plug going to be taking up a jag. Two shots, and that is all she wrote for Balan. We'll see you next game. As Lord Kanji picks up a second kill for the game, hanging out top left, getting their heal on on the fireplace. Smile and Lily coming face to face. Good nade by Lily. Will buy them a little bit of time. 
Smile trying to use some tape in the zone. Big grenade. Is it going to land Smile? Very intelligent to walk backs where they're backwards there. But the zone is going to be ticky, taking more and more damage. Lily trying to heal right side circle. Smile walking out of the room. Half HP. Will Lily make a play on them? No, he's going to make it into the house, which is going to be a small beacon of safety for a few moments. Coyote shooting at Lily. Lily getting third partied in Kilometer will take out Lily. You know Lily is going to be punching their monitor, monitor after that moment. You never want to be third partied, especially in a competitive event like this. Good Nade does take a quarter of the damage. Radosin trying to take the chase. Half HP Kilometer. Radosin wants it so bad. Ooh. Goes around the corner. Takes a snipe. Won't land for now. Radosin sitting at four kills. Encrypt. Trying to hide in the tree and it won't work for now. Mkill, Radosin, Rookie, Encrypt. Suhei, all up. All of these people that we talked about before the event started, they are all alive and they are all looking at each other. This is going to be a battle of experience and nothing else. Who has the most experience to know where to hide, to know when to push, to know how to aim? Has Rookie, Mkel taking a great snipe on Rookie. Suhei coming to the third party. I don't think Mkel knew though. Because remember, everyone is a default fox. You never know exactly who you're pushing. Last circle. Six players remain. Lots of kills between all of them. Subi, Suki Smile, Rookie on the right. Enkel Encrypt Radostin on the left. They're going to be stuck in this building. Rookie trying to heal off, trying to get that third place placement. Suhei healing from behind the tree. Would rather die to the Skunk Ass than give it to Mkel. Great play. Mkel holding the door. Takes out Rookie. Mkel, five kills is the person to go here. Gets griefed by Smile, who takes him out. Smile takes out Rookie. Radosin sitting in zone. And Kip trying to decide to deal. And Radosin picks out the sniper. And with two quick shots, takes down Smile, takes down Encrypt, and wins the game with five kills. We knew Radosin can do it. GG's in the chat right now. GG's in the chat right now. Radostin, able to take out the player pushing them on the right, instantly take out the sniper, look left, and take down Encrypt, who was trying to get a cheeky kill there. Uh, past Radostin, we do have Encrypt with four kills and their first top two finish. That is going to be huge points for Encrypt as they move out of the middle of the pack, probably somewhere to around the top eight. Smile with a great performance there, will capture that third place and give themselves 11 points that game. Mkel, great idea to hold that top right jail corner because they did get themselves those two extra kills on the outside, which will surely help them. Here we go, game number five. We are past the halfway point and let's see what type of strategies people are going to change up and begin using now that we're past the halfway point. Here is Mkel, who we are currently following, definitely in the top three right now. I would say the top three is probably Rookie in the one slot, Mkel in the two slot, uh, and Eevee in the three slot, with a closely following behind Lord Canty and Radostin after Radostin's big win last game. That's probably what our top five is right now, so they need to continue to have high-level performances. And with their level of competitive experience in the game, we know that they will. Lord Canty, first person to die in the match to Rookie. That is absolutely colossal. Mkel running out into Rookie here is definitely going to be on the chase. Rookie only has the tier one armor as well. Never mind, finds the tier two. Might be able to fight back now. Coming face to face with Mkel. Rookie misses all their shots and Mkel lands all of theirs. So Rookie is definitely going to be stepping away, wanting to live as long as possible. Gutter's Kale deciding to land literally in the absolute farthest place that they could land probably grabbing up as much as they can before they try to fight some other than that it seems like every single player is quite spread out right now the only players that we might see run into each other are these top right research players as suhei is continuing to loot but encrypt and cat with a gun are nearby coyote and mkel coming face to face momentarily alara sees mkel as well but nothing more happening 64 and, and lasu are up here hanging out I don't know if they saw each other or heard each other. They're coming. Oh, Lasu heard. Trying to take some pre-fire shots. None of them landing, even close. Let's head back up to the Thomas' Tundra area as a lot of these players seem to be converging. Suhei somehow finding a blue bow early in every single game. Several players contesting this mole crate. 
Balan finding Ren in the Pie of the Tiger sign by opening up the crate. What's going to count? Oh my gosh. A minigun has been picked up. Ren picking up a minigun, holding down Mouse One, because that's pretty much all you can do with that weapon. All right, they are minigun taking shots. Nothing landing so far. All right, Ren is going to be walking away, but we're going to have to watch out for that later because a minigun can be incredibly hectic for the last circle. As Liberty and Drimix both come here, both sitting on one HP, walking away from each other. We'll have to see who comes next. Eevee, Radostin fighting it out. Both people landing good shots. Radostin takes out Eevee, but just barely. Eevee going down pretty early. Not even going to get any placement points this game. So Eevee needs to hope that they put a few kills on the board. D3S taking a little bit of damage from that red barrel. Smile trying to pursue, but pursuing them the, in uh, the wrong direction. As the Kobe Russian name done. and Kubi will be coming across each other. Drimix following shortly behind as well. All shots going out of each other. Silence pistol going out. Drimix pre-firing. Does take all of the armor off. Will they choose to continue fighting or is one of them going to run away? It looks like Drimix is trying to flee. The Russian name did see Drimix there. Kubi hiding in the corner. Kubi looking low. Russian name is going to take the kill credit there. As they come face to face, Russian name getting down Drimix to very low HP. Is he going to continue pursuing? He is. Does see him momentarily. No armor to no armor. Going to have to make some wise decisions here. And the Russian name goes through three piles of tree to take out Drimix. Great shots by them. As Ruki drops Lily somewhere here on the map, which is another huge kill for Ruki. Let's look at the number one. Oh no, Ruki is having a pop-off performance. Someone needs to stop Ruki immediately. Ruki, six kills, playing absolutely fantastic. Revolver, Jag, all the shots being taken by the tree though. Hanging out in the zone. Meru hit once, hit twice. Skunkast is gonna push Ruki out. Meru trying to tape in the tent, seeing Ruki. Ruki, fleeing for now, good choice. Ruki needs to heal up as quick as possible and get back into the fight. Ruki would love to hit those 10 kills and get those max kill points for this game. I think that would put them even more solid into the lead as Mkel, who has a Jag as well, takes down D3S in the top quadrant. Encrypt running with one HP into Mikel, who has a Jag. Is Encrypt gonna live? Oh my gosh, smooth movement by Encrypt there and barely survives that situation. Meru running at Mkel with a, oh my gosh, Encrypt has the, Encrypt has the minigun. Wait, Encrypt meleeing Radosin twice. Radosin is going to hit that deep shot between the two pillars and take them out, which means there is a minigun on the ground. Radosin hitting it. Of course, Mkel is way too try hard to want to pick up the minigun in a competitive event, but the Russian name sees it and he does pick it up. We will have to see what the Russian name decides to do. Oh my gosh, 64 Ga Gad walked face to face with the Russian name and decided not to use his Jag face to face. Radosin does go down to the minigun. Minigun picking up two kills so far. And as this zone gets smaller, this is going to be an a cr incredibly effective weapon. This is going to be an incredibly effective weapon. Russian name definitely needs to tape up before this player from outside pushes them. Has no clue that Smile is walking up behind them. Smile getting absolutely shredded by the minigun. Oh no. The minigun player doesn't know what to do. He's just running in circles, picks up the gold cup, but it's too late and he dies. The minigun will be lost as three players remain. Grey Cat with a gun out in the lead right now. One HP though. Juliusia goes down and Meru has a chance to win and Meru takes down Julissia and Meru is going to win their first game of the Rookie Cash Cup number two. Of course, we have to look at the Russian named player getting a top four placement with seven kills. Those are huge points as well as Rookie. The six kill points are going to make up for that higher placement than normal. So Rookie is just going to be just fine with that game. As we head into game number six, Things are starting to get a little bit more tight. The race is starting to get a little bit more close between these top players. All right, we're going to head into game number six. 
A lot of things are starting to break down as we're going to follow Meru off the rip here, our last game's winner, and see if they can pick up a few early kills here and jumps and get themselves jump started on points. Meru landing at south side, picks out port, looking for some lootations. Probably does not want to pick up the super right laser out of all guns. Ruki also just trying to run as far north as possible. Knows nothing will be looted as we had a very weird horizontal little flight path here. Uh, a few people are choosing to go to the pyramid, so we're going to see what sort of spicy battles we're about to get here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here at the pyramid. Wow, all players, looks like they're deciding to go north over the pyramid and head up towards Super Right uh, Mountain. A few players are. Lasu getting a silenced pistol as their first gun. Absolutely fantastic pull. And we're going to see a 1v1 here. I would definitely be using the silenced pistol. Uh-oh. Jazvik just found a tier 3 armor against the naked Lasu, and let's see what happens. Catmine as well. One dart lands. One more dart. Could spell the end of Lasu. Jazvik is getting hit for his armor, and he's trying to play so safe. I think he's going to start running away. Several players in the juice factory here. Catmine in the corner, not going to be the most useful. Angel Fox just trying to grab a little bit more lootations. D3S heading outside of the Juice Factory. Ruki reloading his guns because he does have several players around him. Our last game's winner, Meru, is running up on Ruki as we speak. Let's see what happens. Meru versus Ruki. Host versus winner. As the mole does spawn in between the players as well, which makes you think they're going to continue fighting. Coyote, Angel Fox, Angel Fox, 1 HP, Coyote on the pursuit, never mind, decides to lead pursuit and letting them go for now as they're going to try to go heal. Default Otter versus Ren, fighting it out, north side of the Saw Security, but it looks like also no one is going to go down, everyone just willing to relax during this early game. Ruki, going to be contesting the Mold Crate by themselves for now, but Suhei is rolling up, and let's see what Suhei can do. Shotgunning, one shotgun, two shotgun, sitting on top of two armor sw swaps. Great play by Ruki. Staying calm, not feeling the need to push, and Suhei will back out safely. Evie and Lily coming face to face. These two are close friends, so let's see what happens. You would hate to see Evie go down early. Great juke by Evie. Probably will get themselves out. No, coming face to face with Lily. Armor swap. Are they going to choose to. Oh my gosh. The last bullet. Going ahead and hitting Eevee there. Lily taking down their friend Eevee. Which is once again going to spell probably disaster for Eevee as they continue to slide down the uh, leaderboard. Encrypt taking a uh, Thomas Gun chase on the 64. Don't think they're going to be able to catch them for now. Canty playing safe. Southside Pixel Port does not want a rerun of last game where they were the first player to lose out of the entire lobby. Lots of players at the north side of the zone here. Suhei, Ren, Pol Polska, Mutin, and Alara are all going to be coming face-to-face -face here momentarily. Maybe right now. Nope, they hurt the players, and so they're going to go their separate ways. Lily already has two kills. Needs to have an absolutely insane pop-off game here. Lily. Ooh, playing smart. Thank goodness for the new grenade sounds, because if that were me, I would have walked right into that grenade. Jazzfic and Black Cat coming face to face, left side of the Saw Security, as D3S is going to go down to Kezia somewhere on the map. Lord Canty playing very safe in the top side of the factory in the Pixel Port. And if you have ever been a part of one of my hide and seek events, I would say that you will have a huge advantage because there are a lot of really sneaky hiding spots in the Pixel Port. So we're going to have to see which kind of spots get used and if any kills are going to be taken because of them. Coyote looking so low. Lord Canty hearing it. Dual pistols takes him out. Missing the sniper shot as well. Encrypt with BCG taking some shots from afar. Benjajo hanging out on the outside. Looking okay so far. Kezio pushing the top left. We're going to have to see who decides to contest this final mole crate of the game. A lot of big names still alive. We see Ruki, we see Lorcanti, we see MKL. Default Otter still working around as well. Encrypt as well. 
Kilometer has been performing well as well, but they're about to come face to face with a player. And Jojo, not paying attention, goes down the Thomas Gun. You never want to come face to face with the Thomas Gun. Mole Crate still has not been opened so far. Encrypt, maybe we'll hear the sounds. Just deciding to throw a cat on it and leave. Kilometer and Encrypt both throwing eggs at each other. Only one will land, and that'll be on to Encrypt. Polska coming face to face with Kezio and does take them down. MKL taking down Kubi as a lot of our top players are coming face to face on this right side. We see Ruki, MKL, and Lord Canty all on the right side. And we're going to see what happens. MKL totally okay with playing safe right now. Canty coming face to face and MKL does go down. Ruki playing in the center right now. Doesn't feel the need to fight. Coming face to face with Ren missing two shotgun shots point blank. Easy armor swap is going to be able to take no health damage because of that. Black Cat willing to relax with the silence pistol on the bottom. Black Cat pushing Ren. Ren looking quite low. Lord Canty would love to steal this kill and he will. Lord Canty willing to take all the kills he can. Rookie chasing Pixie Sticks. Pixie Sticks coming face to face with Kilometer. Pixie Sticks goes down to Rookie. Encrypt healing on the left side. Stun grenades coming out. Stopping players from advancing from that top side down to the south side where the zone is coming in. Encrypt taking big damage. Rookie does take down Encrypt. Another skunk. Kilometer taking himself out of zone here. Kilometer needs to stop using those eggs. If any can be shot to the wall. Rookie coming face to face with Lord Canty. Lord Canty has no tape. Nading the floor. Goes down to his own nade. That's actually a, a super intelligent idea. We'll get the top two finish. Rookie versus Kilometer. Both players have no armor. Rookie armor swaps. 1 HP versus 1 HP. Gets away from the nade. Such a smart nade for Kilometer. And Kilometer takes down the event host and has the kill lead and the win. Holy moly. What an intelligent grenade to clutch up that game, to get their six kill, and to propel themselves so far up in points. Yo, Blue Bear, thank you so much for another 100 bits. Super appreciate you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. An incredible play by Kilometer. Threw a grenade on the bot side, which made Rookie think that they had to play the top side. Threw a grenade so short, there wasn't even a sound cue. Rookie taking 80% health damage from that, and then it was just about aim for Kilometer, and Kilometer hit the shots. We are getting into game number seven. Let's get some hype in the chat. Hey, type who you think is going to take the entire tournament. Look at this player list. Who do you guys think is going to win the whole thing? We've had several players, several different players winning these games. Go ahead and toss your guess on the screen into that Twitch chat right now. Who do you think is going to win as we head into game number seven? And let's get things bumping. Yeah, shout out to Lily, who we've seen have some good moments in these games. Lily is my event host and will be helping me run our $200 dodgeball tournament next month in Super Animal Royale. So shout out to Lily for being a great event host and moderator of this channel. Let's see if they can perform. Coyote is going to be running right into Lily. Lily finding an AK sniper and do armor. Coyote face to face with them. Let's see if Lily decides to play aggressive or wants to run away. Lily sees how they have no armor, so they're playing a little bit more aggressive. But MKL comes and snatches that kill out of the jaws. And Coyote will be our third death of this game. Ren, D3S, and Jazvik also going down so far. And most of these other players are spread out. So I doubt we will see any other intense action for at least a few more seconds. Um, there are a few players super right mountain. Some players spreading as far as Super Sea Land and Lake Slippity. Hoping to grab the best amount of loot that they can. Angel and Meru here at the top left of the Super Animal Super Stage. And we'll have to see what they want to do. Angel pushing Rookie close. Rookie just so masterful with the shotgun. Able to take out almost any player in the game with just two shots with their shotgun. Eevee face to face with Banana. Banana does have a shotgun but does miss the shot. So Cuddly Eevee will take them down. Lily in between two players. This is a very uh, scary situation right now. Great pre-fire to make them low. Lily trying to finish the kill. Needs to not choke. Hits a great snipe. Suhei also picking up their first kill of the game. Masterful with the bow like we've seen Smile be as well. Lands a shot in Kezio. They do have the bird. One shot lands, two shot lands, three shots land. And Suhei is going to get their second bow kill of the game. Let's head back up to the giant Emu Ranchers. Players are coming face to face. Dino Salmon going down to Lily. And we're going to have to see 
We're gonna have to see. What Lily decides to do, it looks like it, the answer is back off, drink some health juice, apply a few tape, as Leon is deciding to play a long con in the Pixar port. Now he is moving, so he's not AFK from the ship. I wonder what the strategy here is. Maybe just trying to get some top 25 placement points? We'll have to check back in with Leon in just one second. As Drimix does take down 64 Gal, Neron is in the Emu Ranch. Black Cat pushing the Emu Ranch as well. Probably was not going to find any loot because several players have been um, there looting up as this game has gone on. Liberty breaking as many boxes and as much gas as possible. Leon must have been AFK because they did die on the right side to the gas as Rookie shotguns another player and Cuddly Eevee takes out MKL, which is an absolutely huge outage as they just were killed right outside of the placement points. Eevee, Suhei, Ruki, Lily, the top four dominating players in kills right now. Exactly who you would expect to see. Um, and we need to see if a player like the North American Lord Canty can pick up a few kills of their own and bring this into a competitive standing for um, NA players. Canty trying to chase, cuts them off expertly. Nice, hits the red barrel and Lord Canty will pick up the first kill of the game. Rookie does take down Balan as well. Man, Rookie has been playing these corners so well with the shotgun, taking out his fourth player of the game. Rookie, who is probably top three right now in the entire tournament, continues to just collect and collect and collect and collect more and more points from um, just from these kill points. All right, Rookie trying to pursue that player is going to lose them very shortly. Rookie and Lily coming face to lay, face to face. Lily able to dodge everything out. Does miss the sniper shot on the rookie though. Canty hanging out south side right now. Lisu, okay, which is hiding behind the rock, getting the placement points and waiting for someone to come to them. Cuddly Eevee is gonna have to start moving in. That skunk cast is not gonna be correctly placed. Kilometer, Eevee, Encrypt, all staring at each other in this small space. And we are gonna have to see who goes after who. Eevee does go for Kilometer, but Kilometer had a jag and was able to two-shot Eevee, which is a huge death for Eevee. Eevee going out a little bit earlier than they would want to with three kills. Oh my gosh, I flipped to Suhei because they had five kills, but they went down. They're gonna be okay with a top 15 placement with five kills, that's gonna boost them high up on the leaderboard though. Ruki is performing very well right now, sitting at four kills, just got into the top 10 for points now. Ruki, Needs to be landing these shots, needs to be able to take out a few more players to solidify themselves in this first place. For now, it looks like they're just hanging out. Bald, bald, bald. Please kill me. Throwing a skunk ass that actually is going to mess with Rookie. Rookie seems to be just okay with hanging out in the zone for now, letting some of these players battle it out. Lily does take down, please kill me. We need to look at Lily because Lily is having an absolutely excellent performance right now. Lily stuck between multiple players though. I'm actually surprised Lily did decide to drop the um, purple sniper from earlier. Lily coming face to face with Lord Canteen takes out our NA representative. Radostin, Black Cat, Default Otter, and Lily are our final players remaining as they all look at each other. Left, right, down, center. Uh, Bows being shot from Black Cat. Nades being thrown from Lily. Cantina being played by Tada. And Black Cat is going to be able to dodge that grenade. Default Otter taping up, healing up in the bottom. Radostin with the silence pistol taking shots. Black Cat behind the A bell. Lily looking at Default Otter. Lily taking shots at Radostin. Lily may have walked out of their safety spot a little bit too soon. Lily beginning to play to back up and take a heal off. Needs these players to be shooting each other. Radostin healing, Black Hat healing. Default Otter is going to have the ultimate heal here. Oh no, they did get, ah, oh, dude. Radostin down, default down. Lily down and Default Otter. A new fresh name is gonna be winning their first game. As all four players decided to heal off. All four players decided to heal off. Lily, gonna be okay with the top two placement. Eight points plus their five kill points. Finishing with 13 points this game. A huge bump up on the list for them. Suhei, honestly, gonna be okay with those five kills as well. Ruki, gonna be okay with the top five finish with the four points as well. And we come to the final game of our event. I appreciate you guys all for starting and let us get into game. Number 10. Game 
Number 10, the final game. We will see what sort of storylines happen. Obviously, there are a ton of players in the race for a top three finish. A chance at a medal, a chance at money, and we're going to have to see who is going to be able to win it. Rookie, obviously, very much up there. Radostin performing super well. Evie and a few others as well as Mayru decides to head down to the south portion of the map and be able to get as many lootations as they want quickly and quietly. And they are going to get a fast jag, which is going to be an awesome weapon to have in a competitive setting. Lots of players seem to be going over here towards the Emu and the Pyramid. And we'll have to see what sort of players do land inside and what players decide to stay out. All right, looks like Kansi is going to be the only one landing in Pyramid. A few players of the slums to the bottom left, as well as a few players out this south section. Somehow, Mooton is already able to have a Thomas gun, so we're going to have to see what he is able to make with that. Kezio and the Russian player are coming face-to-face. -face. Dartfly being used. Russian player trying to get up close. Not going to work for now. Polaska and Gadolinium hanging out up here. Almost looks like they're a duo. I get, did they not see each other at all? It's crazy. All right, Kanzi still holding down the pyramid by themselves as two players follow each other around the slums. I'm very surprised that these players have not been on each other's screen either. All right, Silly putting down some bananas, trying to zone out this other player that is in the slums with them. Balan and Lily potentially coming face to face here. I think Lily might have caught a, caught a bit of them. As Captain Pug is actually sitting with two kills right now with no armor captain pug we have not seen at the top of the leaderboard that much this event but starting out hot in our final game of the day we will have to see where captain pug is going to try to find this armor at because without armor you are not going to live long in these lobbies uh alara another player that we have not seen hit the top five just yet this might be their game game number eight picking up an early kill as well as some of our other big names are picking up their normal kills. Emkel, Balan, Default Daughter, Meru, Lily, Radostin, Rado. Just playing with a pretty casual setup. The AK as well as the shotgun. Spiky going to be picking up a super right laser. Which personally I would not do. But some people to each their own. Suhei getting stuck between two players. And this might spell the last moment of their tournament. No, Black Cat and Balan are both going to go their separate ways and not chase. Captain Pug still sitting with no armor, but fighting D3S over here. Leon hiding in the tent, trying to get a sneaky kill. Mkel going to be taking some skunk damage, but Radostin and a few others are going to be running away. Mkel, and please kill me, coming face to face. Mkel, the Magnum Master. Very scary to come face to face to when he has a Magnum, but no kills so far. Players on the bottom left just is hiding in here. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay. <sighs> Jasvik is going to get the kill after hiding in the corner. They did get it. Sorry, I thought they were going to lose that kill. I got very nervous for that player. Uh, Default Otter kind of walking out of this unbuilt square over here. A few players hanging out in the Health Roots Factory. One of my favorite jobs. Suhei picking up a quick armor stop. Yep, good job. Dodging the name. Picking up their three armor. They definitely want to keep the higher armor count. You need it in this sort of lobby. Default Otter, Mkel coming face to face. Mkel trying to hit a little drive-by shot. Not going to land for now as a lot of these North players need to start running down south. Narum, Russian name, D3S, about to come face to face at the south part of the bamboo stage here. Leon, Captain Pug trying to make their way in. Captain Pug did find an armor eventually, but it is broken. Kubi, hiding from tree to tree, trying to sneak up on someone. D3S, Captain Pug coming face to face. Captain Pug not landing any shots so far. Meru, Russian name, coming face to face in the dodgeball arena of the bamboo. As Russian name goes down to three perfect shots from Meru's deagle. And Meru currently sitting at two kills this game. But it, the story is currently Alara, who is sitting in the zone with the most kills. Currently sitting at three. And Rookie takes down Lord Canty. So our NA representative is going to be going down. But don't worry, we have one more. I lied. Encrypt is already dead as well. All right, the NA dreams are dead. 
Let's see if NA can finish top three, though. But Lily sort of uh, taking Alara out of uh, the space here without them taking a lot of extra damage. Meiru staying at the top north side of the bamboo right now, trying to stay in the house. Default Otter, pretty sneaky hiding spot sneaky hiding spot here in the Super Animal Farm. Suhei about to meet up with about five players down here. Suhei does take down. Please kill me. Alara still sitting with the most kills, running around in the zone. Lily, second most kills, trying to take on Suhei. Misses all the shots. Meiru, Lily coming face to face. Lily has the shotgun. Misses the shotgun shots that's not going to be what lily needs to win this fight meiru coming face to face another shotgun shot meiru does have a jag though which is the better version of the shotgun suhei chasing lily knows they're low saw them get shot lily armor swap still getting chased by suhei though m16 and suhei is going to take down uh lily meiru and alara top two kills of the game so far both alive both kicking it m kill does take out alara so now m kill taking their spot at the top of the leaderboard MKL looking for the best shot, best place to lay down some shots. None so far. Trying to armor up. Coming face to face with Meiru and does take out Meiru. D3S running into MKL. MKL is going to have a perfect spot to relax for now. D3S looking very low. Suhei relaxing up top. Radio Stin taking that kill. MKL has the most points for a player like Ruki. Ruki wants MKL to go down so bad. They're already high points. Gets a fifth kill as well. Default order dies to the storm. Rookie needs to take down MKL if he wants a chance of keeping his money staying at the top. Rookie does take down MKL, which means if Rookie takes this victory, Rookie might just secure himself first place in the entire tournament. There are some higher ranked players in here as well as Suhei trying to finish strong. Three kills right now. Needs to get a win. Stuck in the corner. Oh my gosh. Can survive the skunk damage in that corner. Naram goes down. Rookie, Suhei, and Kubi. Final game. Will we get a new winner or will we see Rookie take his third game? Rookie taking big shots at Suhei out of the zone. Suhei tries to land. Kubi already healing outside the zone. Misses the grenade and Rookie with the great story. Wait. Did... When he did the dance the first time, did anyone just hear a rip like he ripped his pants? Did anyone hear that? Or was that just me? Oh no, I got distracted. Did anyone hear that? He did the thing the first time and it made like a rip sound. It didn't even do the boom, boom, boom. Can I get a clip of that? What just happened? Rookie finishing off his own tournament strong. First place, massive points. That's gonna be 14 points for Rookie. MKL with the top six placement. Um, MKL did make it in sixth place with those five kills. So he will be taking 11 points for himself. And we are going to have to see where everyone shaped up here at the end of the game. Great event by Ruki. Put a GG in the chat. Very fun to watch. Hype games. Very close scoring probably here at the end as well. Very smooth. Everything went, um, everyone went very well. Or everything went very well. Very little um, mess ups in the setup. Uh, to see some placements here. And then we will do some interviews with the winners and see how they felt about their performance. There it is. All right, let's talk. Nehru going to be in 20th place with 20 points. Coyote, top first event, right, Coyote? 19th out of 43 or 45 right about with 20 points. 64, Gad, 21 points, 18th place. Russian name, 17th, Julicia, 60 point. Alara, 15. Default Otter, even with that win, only going to be in 14th place. Please kill me, 13th place. Black Cat, 12th. Mayroom with a win as well, going to be in 11th place. <laughs> Good placements here so far. Great work to these players. 12th through 11th in a in a event that is this that is this populated with um really good players is huge. So congrats to those players. Number 10, we have Encrypt. You can't see it behind my cam, but you have Encrypt. 10th place, 43 points. And we will see who is next. Encrypt, not bad. Top 10 out of 50. Suhei just above Encrypt with level four or with 47 points. We do see some NA representation in the top 10 though. We will see where Kanti ends though. And we have Lily in eighth place with 47 points, actually tying Suhei. Let's go ahead and see who is in seventh place. In seventh place, we have Eevee. Eevee having some fantastic rounds in the early game, but dropped a little quickly in the later rounds, which really um, hurt their chances to get that top three placement. All right, number six, 
We have Smile. I had never seen Smile before ever. And I think Smile did an absolute fantastic job in this competitive event. 54 points for them. Great work. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at number five. Top five players. Number five is Emkel with 58 points. I thought Emkel personally got fourth, which means do we potentially see Lord Canty in a top three placement here? Or will Lord Canty end up right outside the top three in this fourth place? Let's see. Emkel, number five, known as the CEO of Orsports Esports. No! Canty! Fourth place, 61 points. We almost had NA representation in top three. We almost had NA representation in top three. All right, let's see. Third place. Third place. How many points did they beat Canty by? By one point. What is a kilometer? One point. No, if Canty didn't have that game where he died first in the entire game, he was top three for sure. All right, what is a kilometer? 60 po 62, point, 62 points in third place. Top three bronze medal for the event. Let's see, number two. Oh, NA player? We did get NA re representation top three, W. All right, number two. Radostin with 70 points. Radostin started off real slow, but honestly picked it up so fast as the event kept going on, which you know what that means, gamers. The event host himself, collecting another gold medal for himself and keeping his own prize money which I think is hilarious, is gonna be Rookie. Let's go ahead and see how many points Rookie was able to put on. What kind of show was Rookie able to put on? I'm gonna guess 94. I'm gonna guess 94. In the top four of an EU tournament, we have two EU players and two NA players. You know what? Play it, hold on. This is cause for celebration. Everybody stand for the flag. Two NA players, two EU players in top three. Stand for the flag. From Canada. Hello. Hello. There's the man himself taking first place in his own event, putting on an absolute show. How 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 do you feel it went? Yeah, I feel it very well. Like this was probably the best ever performance in the solo format ever. So like the two last weeks ago, there was the first solo cash cap. Uh, MK and I got uh, the record of points, and now I break it again. So I guess it's very nice. Did you know 100% you were in first place? Yeah, of course I was. And with the uh, fetch assets that you can see the, the results instantly after every Oh month. yeah, yeah, so you got to Zero know dope. right away. I actually guessed that yeah. you had 94 points and you had 91, so I was right about there. Um, how do you feel that everyone else performed? Was there anyone that stuck out and had a yeah. uh, more than stellar performance? Yeah, so Rodostin was incredibly consistent at the mid part of the event so at the, at the very beginning they started very slowly i would say but from like around three to five six they were sticking to the same points as me then lord kanti was incredibly regular i think i think kanti is one of the best player uh, about uh, placements it's very very huge what they do every time every event they play they never play but they get top three top four top five and get the best placements. 
Uh, EV was having very much kills, and um, yeah, we I think we all expected MKL to be a little bit more above, but um, it's not that it's random, but it's very, very hard. Like, anybody can make placements lower than expected, so that's just the game. How do you feel about the... Uh, I was talking, my whole one of my whole storylines was, are we going to see any NA representation in this event? And it seems that in our final, we did have two North Americans in the top four. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, they played well. Like, it... We always have, I mean, we always have NA players saying, yeah, the uh, EU always win on NA only because of the ping. And yeah, it's, it's a very, very false thing. But look, like some NA players can perform very well in this event also. It's EU, there is a lot of good players and seeing two NA players in the top four is very nice to see because we're not happy to see that. Oh yeah, congratulations to both of them. With the ping, it's harder, so that's a very yeah. huge performance for both of them. Yeah, but a lot of you EU players would know that a lot of the events happen on NA, so yeah. you are very used to that high ping as well. So it's about time that they come over here and try to play on your ping, right? Yeah, now, it is, it is. I think we're more happy to done them, to be honest. I have one more question for you. I noticed that you were playing um, shotgun almost every single game. Did you come into today knowing that's what you were going to want to do? You were going to want to play yeah. those tight angles, be a little bit more sneakier, and take those close fights. So, uh, since the summer, I received a new PC, and I can play the Shrek without freeze now, thanks God. And, uh, yeah, I would say that since a year uh, of experience into competitive, you have to find the best loadouts, I guess. You see Draven win a lot of events with the shotgun. You see me winning with the shotgun. I don't think this is a random loadout. If uh, if we take these weapons, it means they're very good. So, yeah, I was expected to play the shotgun because it helps you so much to clutch out some situations. This is pretty nice. And I have a feeling after watching this event and after a lot of these people watch this event, I have a feeling we're going to be um, seeing a lot more shotgun users in the future as well. Um, we Maybe. will see how Maybe. many people decide to kind of play that same sort of style. Um, any other words for us before you go? Uh, any other words? Thanks a lot to uh, you for uh, streaming the event. This is very nice and helpful. Um, I hope every spectator enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, we, need, we need more and more people for the events. Uh, the competitive is a hype and not Many, many people are into it, but look, you can play events with full lobbies as we do in our server. Um, come, even if you're scared, even if you're not really good, uh, the tournaments are open to any level, and this is the magic of the tournaments. So feel free to come. Thanks a lot, and thanks again for us for streaming. Yeah, and I will uh, talk to you very soon. All right. All right, peace. All right, as Rookie goes to do his victory lap, um, we will uh, continue to talk. Yeah, I, I don't know if anyone else noticed that with me. Yo, Pixie, what's up? Hello. Pixie, what did you think about the event overall? Um, it was fun. So what, um, what did you end up placing? I don't, I don't remember. I only got to look for a little bit. Oh, crap. I, I, I haven't even seen my placement yet. I got to <laughs> look at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> where can I see the placement? 23rd with 19 points. So what, what, how many tournaments have you, what do you think that you've done? Um, I've done, I've done, I'm going to say about three and maybe two scrims. I would say that night was it 19th place. Yeah. 23rd. I would say 23rd out of about 50 for that stacked of an event would be I would say that is a great achievement. It looks like you were just one point or two points away for jumping all the way up until 17th place as well. So a uh, great job. Anything that you know you can take away for next time to improve? Um, next time, I think that I will probably try and play more aggressive or something like that because I, I tried my best to play a little aggressive, but um, it didn't work out for me. So I'm going to kind of try try and play like hiding for the f first few rounds and get my points racked up. Hmm. Okay. I like that idea. And real quick, what was your go-to, um, what was your go-to setup for this, um, event? What was your favorite setup? Say, think about your pop-off game. What guns were you using? What equipment were you using? How'd it go? Ooh. So, um, the best game that I did, um, I had, um, 
I'm pretty sure everyone that knows me knows my classic combo, which is either Magnum Shotgun or Deagle uh, Jag. Shout out to Vino for that red. Hey, thank you for taking the time to interview. I appreciate you and uh, good luck in your next event. Thank you. All right, peace out. Sue, hey, are you there? Hello, Brody. Hey. Hello. All right. Top 10 placement there for the old Sue, eh? Yeah. I, I think I actually did pretty well considering I was dying super early in the first games. Okay. Now, oh, yeah. I actually I actually pointed that, at his, at, pointed that out on stream as well. There was a few games where you had a strong start, either one or two quick kills, but then you were going down. And I even mentioned you're definitely going to have to either slow down the pace and play for those placement points or... I don't know, just not die. <laughs> so uh, yes, because yeah. So um, what adjustments do you think you made from that beginning to that end, where you started popping off with those high kill games towards the end? Uh, so first of all, I stopped going for as many kills as I can because I am a very aggressive kind of player. Like I, if I see somebody, I am going for the kill. This is uh, known as the the bow tunnel vision. <laughs> tunnel vision. So no yep. more tunnel vision. You kind of just no more a tunnel bit more vision. Slower. And I started playing a little bit slower, and I started like actually caring about my uh, placement and not just the kills. The statue me for ages. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> That's what I did. Huge, and I think it shows because you were probably middle of the pack for a good amount of time there. But by the end of the event, you were up there. You were all the yes, way I up there with the big dogs. I am pretty sure if uh, I was playing like that from the beginning, I mm. could have done much better. Mm. Now, one more thing but, I did notice, we saw you high up there on the kill list. It was just the placement that was slipping. Um, what do you think, what, what, a tri like, what is your best attribute that helps you just pop off in the kill department? Uh, well, first of all, I think it's playing the bow, uh, mm. which helps me chase people down and not lose them. For sure. Yeah, just the, just the knowledge, just the information of where the player is can be huge. I like that answer. Yes. And um, real quick, what are if you could um, say you just played those eight matches and now you get to refresh the day with the knowledge of those matches, what are you changing going into that rerun of the games today? Well, I definitely try to play a little bit slower. I, I am not tunnel visioning anymore yeah. like I did for the first games. Yeah. And uh, I stay away from the shotguns. <laughs> Yeah, good idea, because there were a <laughs> lot of sneaky little shotgun players playing a lot of sneaky little corners in this event. <laughs> All right, hey, good talking to you. I hope you continue to feel better, and I will uh, talk hey, to you thank soon. You. Thank you. Talk to you soon. All right, peace out. All right, there's another one down. Hey, how are you feeling after that? Uh, a bit of a mix, to be honest. Yeah, so, top eight, though, right? Number eight? It's a, it's a decent placement. It's fine. It's not as good as I did last time, but I, I got one below EV, so it's, it's, it's decent, you know? Hmm. Um, my issue, I threw a lot of games because I got really aggressive and then I just ran into a really bad situation. Mm. So, like, the, the first two games... Hang on, Garlic's spamming me. Let, me. let me just move Garlic Red. Okay. Um, <laughs> for, <laughs> first couple of games, uh, I, I got stuck between, like, three different players, which is, you know, it, it's bad, but it's my fault because I was, I was, like, really thirsty for, like, a couple of people, right? Mm. So I, I changed that, and then it worked for, for like most of the games, right? So like, uh, I, the majority of my points were in the second half, especially in the last two games. I'm sure you saw. Yeah. Uh, and I got a lot of kills from it as well, but like my placement just wasn't there, you know. Yeah. Which is why I didn't. Which is why I didn't break top five. You know? I know. I did see you were kind of the same story as a lot of the people. You were an opposite story of Evie, I would say, and sort of the same story of Suhei, where I feel like you started kind of slow. But as the event went on, you got stronger and stronger and stronger. We started seeing you later and later in the placements, yeah. having higher and higher kills. It's one of those things where I think if the event was two games longer, you definitely could have broke that top yeah, five. For sure. um, yeah. as you I, I, I do generally more prefer better. longer longer events because I perform better uh, whenever I'm like... Uh, I perform better like later in games because I have time to like warm up to competitive lobbies and stuff because I take a bit of time to do that. So, so then follow-up question, how do you feel about a best-of-one dodgeball tournament on December 9th? How are you going to warm up for that? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose badly the first two rounds, but I'm going to have four people who are very good at the game and carry me, and then I'm going to do fine. W. Good idea. <laughs> if you guys do not know, Lily is one of our teams signed up for our $200 5v5 dodgeball tournament on December 9th, and they have a very strong team made up of several crafty gamers. 
some of which you guys got to see today in the event. Um, <clears throat> any other um, interesting thoughts about the Cash Cup? How do you feel like it was ran overall as an event organizer yourself? Uh, great, honestly. It's 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 just done as well as it can be. Like there's nothing yeah. else to change. It it's felt super smooth from both of the caster angles. I can tell you that. Appropriately yeah. length, um, appropriate length um, breaks. No yeah. reworks in the in the actual games itself. Yeah. yeah, one of the one of the problems I have with some events is they have like a fifteen minute break between like a like a halfway halfway point, right? Mm. So you're sitting there for like like a quarter of an hour doing nothing. Like there's no reason for that. Like I think the eight minutes, you know, shaving off like seven of those minutes is needed. I like how you I, said I, I quarter of an hour to make it sound as long as possible. I know. <laughs> Listen, 15 minutes feels like a long time if you're in the zone, okay? Dude, we were there for like one-tenth of three hours, and, <laughs> and yeah, honestly, we got really we cold. Were there for like, we, we were there for like uh, like a hundredth of an hour. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, good talking to you. I'm happy that you're happy with your placement and also strive to have your competitiveness and your, and your knowledge that you, you can do better. So, uh, thank you yeah. for talking to me, and I'm going to head to the next interview.